Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the next Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to create CRUD REST API using Prisma, Next.js and the Postgres. In the last video, we have discussed about the CRUD REST API using the Prisma, Next.js and the MySQL. Now we're done with the Postgres. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's see how we are going to do that. So first of all, let's go to the terminal and your project directory. So cd var www.html and I think the next directory is there. Next yes. Let's create the directory. So here I'm going to create the directory of the Postgres. Okay, so let's create this. Sorry. So we can't go. I think we know to use NVM. nvm use 20 so node i know it need to use 20 right so now i'm going to create this one so just press enter enter and it will give you the full-fledged app folder okay After this, go to that directory. This is done. Let's go to the directory. I think it copies full fledged. So CD. Okay, so here we need to install the packages that is Prisma client and the Prisma. Okay, after this, we have to create the schema Prisma. So uh, let's open the code base. Okay, so here we have the code right now. And here you can see that we don't have the Prisma folder. So let's generate this. So npx Prisma generate. And if you want to dive into the more deeper of the Prisma, then you have to watch my Prisma tutorial series. Here I can explain everything over here. Generate. Okay. First command is init. So I need to generate, I need to first initialize this with your database configurations. So here we go with that one. If I go to my VS code here, you can see the Prisma and the ENV, both files I created. Here we have the schema. So let's define the schema over here. So this is the schema that I need to add it over here. Okay. And uh, in the ENV, we have to go with the connection strings, right? So we are using the Postgres. So here we have a Postgres SQL. Okay, then ENV, we have the Postgres SQL. So let's update the uh, username. Username, I think Postgres, password, I think admin, and uh, the MyDB is, uh, we will take the rest API DB. Let's try to save this. Let's go to the terminal and then run NPX. I will run it later on. So first create the structure, like the rest API structure. So here we need to create a folder whose name is API. Then I need to create a folder with this users and then I need to create a route.js file. Okay. So this is created and then in this one I need to create another one with ID. So where I need to put uh, get ID as a param. So ID. In this I need to create another file which name is route.js. Okay. So this we needs to needs to be added and I'm going to copy paste my previous code. So this is ID code. So this I need to be added over here. This is ID, right? So add it my this code 
and this is users routes so i need to add it over here okay let's switch back to this one and let's close this one and let's check this okay so this is api users and here we have the routes.js file so here we have the api for the post and the get okay to fetch all the users we have in the uh, table and here whatever we are going to send the request okay so this is the post request and we will understand much more on detail and then we have id params so here we have the update request and the delete request okay so let's save this and let's go to the terminal and run the command npx prisma generate okay and then migrate for the data migrations to run yes and users table i want to go with this so this is done right that means database connection is done okay so let's go to the postman and play around with the apis so let's go with the first post request okay and here we have the body this one let's try to send this request we haven't run the server so npm run dev okay so let's try to send this record and this is added let's go to the pg admin and check meanwhile we will add much more data onto it so here we will go with a minute send okay so this is api user endpoint name and the email right let's go and check this let's open this scroll this and let's move to the view and it all rows here you can see we have two records which we have currently added so that means create a create a record is done right so let's dive into the code and understand the code so here we have the post request and this is the prisma client without this we are unable to use the query of the prisma right so first we accept the json okay and in the terminal you can see that we have logged this the name and the email with the help of this now we are extracting the name and the email and we are trying to send in the data okay with the help of the prisma.user.create you will create a record if it is done then it will return you the user which is created with the i respective id if something goes wrong it will go to the cache block with the status code 500 and internal server error message right then we have a fetch all records with the help of the prisma.user.findmany okay if it give you the record then it go to the you, this one response with the 200 status code else internal server error 500 okay so if i go and check the get request here you can see we have the listing of all the users right so this is how you can fetch this one now we have go with the fetch put request we have to update by id so let's add one record and here i want to replace with tt with something else tt with the rr okay and here also i want to replace with rr okay so it's a put request make it put request and try to send it and let's go to and check this one first record view and edit all rows you can see it is replaced by first record is replaced by the updated which i have sent the name and the email okay so this is that one so here we have a put request and the query is so here you need to make sure you have to send the request and the params okay so params we are going to take the id and this is a query like prisma.user.update where you want to update you need to we need to record we need a id where you want to update whether it's to be email whether it's to be somewhere so you need to pass it over here and the data which data you want to update so you need to send it okay if it is updated it will record you the response uh, whatever the data you have added it will return that one updated record and if something goes wrong it will go to the cache block and it uh, and it will give you the message that internal server error with the status code 500 
Okay, then we have a last that is late request. So here we require the params. So on which, on the behalf of which uh, ID you want to delete. So in the where condition, you need to send that ID and the com and the query is prisma.user.delete. So delete on where condition, right? If it is deleted, it will return you to delete, return you the deleted record. And if something goes wrong, it will go to the internal server error block and show you the message that internal server error with the status code 500. So this is the delete request. Let's check this one. So if I go over here and make a delete request over here and let's try to send this and this is that means this is deleted. If I go to the post, uh, PG admin and let's reload this script and here you can see only one record, one record record with one ID is deleted and the second is left. That means our full fledged CRUD REST API with the PostgreSQL next JS and the Prisma is completed. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. In the next video, we have I think the MongoDB CRUD REST API which is pending. So we will update the next one tomorrow okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day